Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the new and exciting game show sweeping the country called Shout Out the Game Show. I'm your host Mr. Nick and I'm excited for you to join us today where we have contestants battling out to see who can shout out the most thankfulness. And I'm excited for our first contestant today. Let's bring out contestant number one. Here we are. Hello contestant number one. Tell us your name and what do you do? My name is Jaden Henderson and I'm a student. Jaden Henderson and you're a student. Jaden, what did you have for breakfast today? Uh, some rolled muffins. Ooh, delicious. All right, Jaden, you know this game show very well. You know how it works, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right, here's how the game show works. You're going to have 45 seconds on the clock. And what we want you to do is to find thankfulness, all right? We want you to find thankfulness, all right? And here's how it'll work. I'm going to hand you not one, not two, but three random items. And when he sees those three random items, he is going to have to think of ways that he can be thankful for those random and very weird items. Are you ready, contestant one? Yes. Otherwise known as Jaden. All right, we got 45 seconds on the clock. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Here is your first item. Uh, I can make beans and cook it for my family. Uh, uh and uh, cook it and spend my time next on. item mismatch socks um i can match with my outfit like one side i can have white shoes on and the other i can have red shoes on and it'll look really nice and socks are my favorite next item i can put stuff in it and i can put my pizza in it why not you open it up and see what's in there <gasps> pizza um, and then I can eat this because it's delicious. Um, and you have five seconds. What else can you be thankful for? Look for thankfulness um, in this box. Uh, I can also put like my toys in it. Uh, Two. My Xbox one. in it. And time. Jaden can put his Xbox in a pizza box. And I'm telling you, he is finding thankfulness in some very unusual ways. Great job, Jaden. I'm giving you 230 million points for that round. Very good. Now. We have our second contestant coming up. Can she beat 230 million points? I bet you want to know. I want to know. And we will find out right after this amazing commercial break. So I'm going to give a shout out to my teacher, Mrs. Foch, because she is giving me education, math, science, and social studies. And I really like it. I'm going to give another shout out to my teacher, Mrs. Danner. She's extremely nice. And she also gives me reading and writing stuff. I'm going to give another shout out to my brother, Landon. My brother, Landon, is helping me with um, the schoolwork that I can't take her out. Also, my mom, because she's helping me get through all these COVID days. And she's also being highly nice. Hello, my name is Lauren, and for this month's theme of kindness, I will be giving four shout outs. One is to my mom who cooks us food so we don't starve. Thank you, mom. Next is to my math teacher who teaches us math and science so we can go to college. The next is my ELA teacher, Ms. Basso, who teaches us how to write so we can make strong essays for high school and college. The last is to my piano teacher, Ms. Keisha, who teaches me piano. I'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Foch for giving me extra help and my mom for being the best mom ever and farmers for creating fresh produce. Hi, my name is Lily and I'd like to give a special shout out to my teacher, Miss Morby, because she is a great teacher. 
I'd also like to give a shout out to Mr. Nick because he is my dad and he makes the best pancakes ever. And also to my dog Gus because he is the best dog ever. Welcome back to Shout Out the Game Show. I'm your host, Mr. Rick, and we are back with contestant number two to see if she can beat the contestant number one, Jaden, and his amazing points of 230 million. All right, let's bring out our second contestant now. Here she comes. Hi, right, contestant number two, tell us your name and what do you do? I'm Hannah. I'm also a student. She's also a student. What's your favorite subject, Hannah? Um, right now it's ELA. ELA. So is it fair to say you are thankful for ELA? Yes. Wow, she is finding thankfulness everywhere she looks. All right, you know how this game works. You have to try to beat 230 million points, which contestant one Jaden did. I'm going to give you three items, three items, three weird items that you have to look for thankfulness. Why would you be thankful if I gave you these items? And you got 45 seconds. Are you ready, Hannah? Hopefully so. All right, here we go. 45 seconds on the clock. Woo! And here's your first item, a clock hat. Well, I do theater, so I can be thankful you can wear it as a hat. It's also very creative, so you could look at it and go, it's a piece of art. So you can be thankful that you can look at such a beautiful piece of artwork. Um, Let's see, there's a lot of pieces on it. So if you're stranded on a desert island, maybe you could do something with it. I don't know. Ooh, all right. For that. Moving on to item number two. It is a bottle of clam juice. Go. You can make different recipes with this, I'm sure. Or if I guess you were thirsty enough, you could just drink it. I don't really know why you would, but you could. That's why I'm thankful for it. Um, let's see. It has zero calories. So if you don't want to drink something that has calories in it, that's not water. There you go. Wow. Hannah's looking for thankfulness in this final item. You've got five seconds on pom pom. Oh, Three, if you're a cheerleader, two, you can go like this. One. <laughs> Time! All right, Hannah, based on the tallies from the judges, you score 210 million points. That means Jaden wins round one because he got more in on the third item. Great job, Hannah. All right, so we are looking for thankfulness in all kinds of situations. Everywhere you need to look, you need to see if you can find thankfulness. Easy to be thankful for regular things on great days, but can you be thankful when things are a bit more frustrating or a bit more difficult? Let's take a look at our Bible story video right now. Hey guys. Hey Cameron. Hey, thanks for filling in while our friend Kellen's on vacation. You bet. Hey Cameron. What's going on? Ah, uh, it's nothing. I, I can't find anything to be grateful for. Oh, and my elbows smell like cottage cheese. Well, I can't help you with your elbow problem, but the story today might give your gratitude a boost. Great! What are we talking about? Today, we're looking at 1 Thessalonians 5.18. The Apostle Paul wrote, Give thanks no matter what happens. No matter what happens? That's what he wrote. How is that possible? I'm not sure. Maybe we can get some answers from Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. One day, Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter were walking home from a movie. Oh, I just loved that film, Count. As did I, Mr. Fritter. It's amazing how many sports that dog has learned to play. On their way, they encountered Wanda Watermelon, who was blocking their path. Excuse me. We'd like to get by, please. What did you say? Oh, dear. He said, Madame Watermelon that you are blocking the whole sidewalk. Roll aside. Wow, thank you so much. That was very kind of you, Wanda. Thank you, schmank you. She would not have budged were it not for my stern upbraiding. I showed her. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, no. Count Lupe didn't give thanks like Mr. Fritter, and he paid the price. So let me just remind them what the Apostle Paul wrote. Give thanks no matter what happens. Give thanks no matter what happens? After what we've been through? Impossibly! There is nothing to be thankful for after being squished by a watermelon. Oh, that's not true, Count. I'm thankful for our friendship. I'm thankful for how cute kittens and puppies are. 
I'm thankful for a clear day when the forecast said it was supposed to rain. Just look around at all we have to be thankful for. No! I refuse to look! Then feel the warm breeze. Smell the smells. At least listen to the sounds of nature. No! There's nothing to be thankful for. I am not listening. Roll away! Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we've seen enough. The point is, when you're not grateful, when we don't give thanks, there are consequences. We're probably not going to get squished by a watermelon, but not having gratitude can slowly turn you into someone who's rude and unhappy and grumpy all the time. And that's not good for anyone. So let's see what Paul wrote one more time. Give thanks no matter what happens. And then Paul gave us a really good reason to give thanks. God wants you to thank him because you believe in Christ Jesus. No matter what scary things are going on in the world or in your life, you can always be thankful that Jesus loves you and that he died for you and that he's more powerful than all the scary things, even death. What do you think of that, guys? Does that help? Absolutely. I'm way more grateful now. I'm grateful for Jesus. I'm grateful for the dulcet tones of Cameron's voice explaining biblical <laughs> concepts to me. There's so much to be grateful for. Thanks, Cameron. Anytime. I'm grateful for you, too. Well, thanks. See you next time, Cameron. Next time. And we're back from that Bible story. I've taken over for our host, Mr. Nick, today. You know, it's one thing to give thanks. I've had a lot of really good things going on in my life right now, and so I can give thanks really easily. But the fact that the verse continues and says, no matter what, it's just a different story, and that's what makes it so much harder, and it, we have to put in work for it. So, what are you grateful for? I know for some people that can just be answered maybe off the top of your head. Maybe it's a lot easier for others than maybe you. But for some people, these last few months might have been a little bit harder, a little bit rougher, so answering it definitely is a challenge. But remember, no matter what's going on in your life right now, you can always, always find something to be grateful for. So let's pray and thank God for sending Jesus. And let's also pray and ask God to help us find something to be grateful for no matter what circumstance. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending Jesus so we can have a relationship with you. And thank you for being a God we can trust no matter what. We're so grateful. Please help us live with gratitude to you and to the people around us too. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Love is patient, love is kind From the start till the end of times Everywhere we look, we find your love Love protects and perseveres Always trusts and Tongues of angels, but I'm just a clashing sin.